This is the Merida eBig 9 300 SE, a mountain bike that is also as capable as being on-road as it is off-road, whether you are on a commute to work or on a trail. This bike is excellent. In this video, I will be giving my full review. Let's get into it. I received this bike as part of the 99 Bikes Green Team Challenge for 2022, thus the spiffy shirt. In terms of build, this bike comes with an aluminium alloy frame, nice and strong. It comes into about a total of 25 kilos for the whole bike, which is a bit hefty and you definitely feel that when you're not using the power modes, but is still a decent weight for this sort of bike and especially considering that it is an e-bike with a motor and uh, battery and all that sort of stuff. It is a little heavier than a regular mountain bike. I mean, the same bike, this sort of thing, without the battery and without the motor is I think about 20 kilos. So it only adds about five kilos. Realistically, that's not much. The frame is very strong, very durable. So it will handle whatever you want to throw at it, especially considering this is a mountain bike. So you're going to be throwing quite a bit at it. The handlebars or your sort of cockpit area. There's plenty of room to put any sort of gizmo or gadget, whatever it is that you want to mount on this bike. I've got my Garmin right in the middle. I've got a phone holder, I've got my bell, I've got lights, this, that, and the other. As far as handling, this bike goes great. You've got the huge 29er wheels, which will take you over literally anything. Body of the bike, you've got the suspension, so it is a hard tail bike, which means the rear of the bike does not have suspension, but the front, we do have forks. In talking about the suspension, um, they are, I mean, somewhat standard. You can adjust the suspension level. Um, it's 100 mil of suspension, but you can adjust the power up and down so that you can have a bit more bounce if necessary or a little less bounce if you don't need all of that. I've managed to take a few little shortcuts here and there on the way to work. Um, something which on my road bike, would not be able to touch but this bike handles it like a champ and this bike is an e-bike after all so you do have a battery and a motor the motor is mid mounted it's right in the middle of the bike which is great it allows the bike to feel very well balanced the battery is a 504 watt hour battery um, shimano brand uh, it lasts a very long time like this will last me easily the whole week um, of cycling to and from work before I have to charge it again or even think about charging it again you know even if you do run out of battery that's one of the great things about an e-bike is you can turn it completely off and use it like a regular bike the battery system on these bikes is great it's a very simple system you've got a lock so you can unlock the battery and then it just slides out on an angle so that if you need to charge it on the bike, you can through the charging port or you can take the battery off completely or have a second battery and charge that separately. So you don't need to have it on the bike to be charging. So that's quite nice. The motor on this thing is a Shimano E7000 drive unit, which I have found to be absolutely capable of delivering power across the various levels that are allowed on the bike and allows up to the 25 kilometers an hour which is sort of the legal limit of e-bikes in australia this drive unit has been able to get me up and down all sorts of hills all sorts of terrain with absolute ease doesn't even blink an eye and the control system included with this bike is the basic level shimano setup so it gives you three levels of powered modes and one off mode, basically. Um, so the three power modes, you've got eco, then uh, trail, and then sort of boost or extreme or whatever it is mode. For the most part, eco mode does everything I need it to do. And I mean, even half the time I cycle with this thing without the powered mode as well, because I just want a bit of a workout. But if I want just a little bit of a push, eco mode is great. And then if I want, if I'm like maybe injured a little bit or I want a bit more of a push, a bit more of assistance, then I might turn it on to trail mode. 
Um, if I'm going up a very steep incline, that's probably the only time that I'm going to be using boost mode. Something else that's quite useful is if you need to walk it up a hill, then you hold down the bottom button, gives you walk mode. So this allows just a bit of assistance if you need to walk it uphill. The bike definitely isn't as fast or as quiet as a road bike. I mean, cycling along cycling paths, you definitely hear the bike and people around you will definitely hear the bike. And me coming from a road bike sort of history, it is a bit of a learning process to get used to the mountain bike. In terms of price, here in Australia, you can pick one of these up for about 3,999 new, or if you are a club member with 99 bikes, you can knock $300 off that and get it for about 3,700 or 3,699 dollars, um, which in the grand scheme of things, that is absolutely excellent value for the bike of this caliber um, from Merida great company they very solid bike very very capable bike will handle anything that you throw at it whether it's on the road on your commute whether it's off-road on a trail so for everyone looking at getting an e-bike i would strongly suggest considering looking at the Merida eBig 9 300 SE as your bike of choice this thing is built like a beast and will handle anything I have had so much fun riding this over the last couple of months and I'm going to have so much fun riding it into the future as much as I possibly can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.